To avoid spreading germs that can make you and your family sick, always wash your hands before preparing food, after touching raw food, after using the washroom, after coughing or sneezing, after touching pets or handling garbage, and after outdoor activities. To wash hands, turn water taps on and wet hands using warm water. Add soap and lather for 20 seconds. Use a nail brush to clean underneath fingernails. Use paper towels to dry your hands and turn the taps off with paper towel to avoid recontamination from the germs on the water taps. Baking powder biscuits. The ingredients you will need for this recipe are two cups flour, one tablespoon baking powder, half teaspoon salt, quarter cup margarine, three quarter cup skim milk. The equipment and utensils you will need to make this recipe are a baking pan, mixing bowl, measuring cups, measuring spoons, mixing spoons, and a fork. To prepare baking powder biscuits, turn the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. To a large mixing bowl, add two cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. Stir until well mixed. Add a quarter cup of margarine to the bowl. Use a fork to cut the margarine into the flour mixture until it forms small pieces about the size of a pea. Pour three quarter cups of milk into the bowl. Stir the milk into the dry ingredients just until they become wet and a soft dough forms. If the dry mixture is not completely moistened, stir in an extra one to three teaspoons of milk. Be careful not to mix too much or your biscuits will become very hard. Drop heaping tablespoons of dough onto an ungreased baking sheet. Place the pan of biscuits into the oven and bake for 12 to 15 minutes. Remove the biscuits from the oven using oven mitts. The biscuits are ready to eat when they are golden brown on the bottom. Make tasty cheese biscuits by adding half cup of shredded cheese to the dry ingredients before mixing and baking. Bean salad. The ingredients you will need for this recipe are one can of green or yellow wax beans drained, one can of kidney beans rinsed and drained, one can of chickpeas, rinsed and drained, one onion, half cup sugar, half cup vinegar, half cup oil. The equipment and utensils you will need for this recipe are a mixing bowl, a cutting board, a sharp knife, measuring cups, measuring spoons, a colander, and a can opener. Wash the tops of all the cans to prevent dirt and germs from sliding into the food as you remove the lid. Open and drain the can of wax beans. Drain and rinse kidney beans and chickpeas in the colander with cold water. Add to the mixing bowl. Add one chopped onion to the mixing bowl. In a separate bowl, stir together half cup sugar, half cup vinegar, and half cup oil. Mix together. Pour over salad. Toss and serve. Peanut butter cookies. The three recipe ingredients you will need are one cup peanut butter, half cup sugar, and one egg. The equipment and utensils you will need for this recipe are 
a mixing bowl, spoon, measuring cups, baking sheet, and oven mitts. In a mixing bowl, combine one cup of peanut butter, half cup sugar, and one egg. Raw eggs can carry dangerous germs that can harm you and your family. Wash your hands immediately after you touch any raw eggs. You should also wash any surfaces the eggs have touched with warm soapy water to stop the spread of germs. Mix ingredients together using a spoon. Drop by teaspoons onto an ungreased cookie sheet. Bake in a 350 degree oven till golden brown on the edges. Cool and serve. Stir fry. The cooking ingredients you will need for this recipe are one pound of cubed meat. You can use chicken, beef, pork, or hamburger. Three cups mixed vegetables, fresh or frozen. One cup chicken broth. One tablespoon soy sauce. Two tablespoons cornstarch. One teaspoon garlic powder. Half teaspoon ground ginger. The equipment and utensils you will need for this recipe are a large pot, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a cutting board, and a sharp knife. To prepare this recipe, you can use pork, chicken, beef, or hamburger. Meat should always be refrigerated. Trim away any visible fat from the meat and discard. Cut meat into cubes and place in a saucepan. Thoroughly wash hands, utensils, cutting boards, and work surfaces after handling raw meat or poultry. Prevent cross-contamination by using separate cutting boards for meats, poultry, fruits and vegetables, and bread. Clean cutting boards in the dishwasher or scrub with hot water and soap after each use. Stir-fry meat over medium-high heat until no longer pink inside. Avoid placing stirring utensil directly on countertop as this may spread harmful bacteria. Place the stirring utensil on a plate to avoid cross-contamination. If your meat begins to stick and burn to the bottom of the pot, add a small amount of water and stir. Measure out three cups of chopped fresh or frozen vegetables. Add to the meat. Reduce heat to medium and stir fry until vegetables are soft, about 5 minutes. Add 1 cup of broth, 2 tablespoons cornstarch, 1 tablespoon soy sauce, half teaspoon ginger, and 1 teaspoon garlic powder. Bring sauce to a boil and remove from heat once sauce has thickened. Serve over rice if desired. Taco Soup The cooking ingredients you will need for this recipe are 1 can tomato soup 1 can kidney beans 1 can of tomatoes 1 pound of ground beef 1 can of corn and 1 package taco seasoning Wash the tops of all cans to prevent dirt and germs from sliding into the food as you open the cans. Open and drain the can of kidney beans. Rinse with cold water, set aside. Open and drain the can of corn and set aside. Meat should always be refrigerated. Place hamburger into the cooking pot. It is very important to wash hands after touching any raw meat. If you touch the spice container, you may leave germs on the container. Stir-fry the hamburger in a large saucepan on medium-high heat until well browned. To prevent spreading any germs from the raw meat to the countertop, place mixing utensil on a plate. If the meat starts to stick to the bottom of the pan, add a small amount of water to prevent it from burning. While the meat is cooking, prepare the onion.
Peel off the outer papery layer and cut the onion into small pieces. Add the chopped onion to the pot, stirring to prevent sticking. Add the can of tomatoes. Add the can of tomato soup. Add one soup can of water. Add the can of corn. Add the package of taco seasoning. Add the drained kidney beans. Stir well. Bring to a boil, then simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. And enjoy! Tuna casserole. The cooking ingredients you will need for this recipe are one onion, two cans of mushroom soup, two cans of tuna, one can of peas, two cups of cooked pasta. Prepare the onion by peeling off the outer skin and cutting into small pieces. Wash the tops of all cans to prevent dirt and germs from sliding into the food as you remove the lid. Open all the cans and drain. In a saucepan, combine the chopped onion, drained tuna, canned peas and mushroom soup. Add one soup can of milk. Place on stove on medium-high heat until it starts to boil. Add cooked pasta and mix gently. Simmer until steaming hot. Enjoy! Noodle Soup The three ingredients you need to make this soup are eggs, flour, and chicken broth. The equipment and utensils you need for this recipe are a small and large mixing bowl, a medium-sized pot, and a spoon. To prepare this recipe, prepare chicken broth in a pot. Bring to a boil over medium-high heat. To make the noodles, crack two eggs into a small bowl. Raw eggs can carry dangerous germs that can make you and your family very sick if eaten. Wash your hands immediately after you touch any raw eggs. You should also wash any surfaces the eggs have touched with warm, soapy water to stop the spread of germs. Whisk eggs together using a fork. Pour eggs into a larger mixing bowl. Add heaping tablespoons of flour to eggs. Stir together, adding more flour until mixture is a soft dough consistency. Place a clean spoon into the boiling broth. This prevents the dough mixture sticking to your spoon. Using the heated, wet spoon, take small scoops of the egg dough mixture and drop into the broth. Repeat until no egg mixture remains. Simmer for 10 minutes. Cooked vegetables may be added for variety. Ladle into bowls and serve. Lentils There are many varieties or colors of lentils and are very tasty added to salads, soups and casseroles. Just simmer in water for 20 to 30 minutes or until tender. Cooking pasta and noodles. To prepare pasta, you need a large pot, stirring spoon, and a colander. Bring water to a boil in a large pot. Add the pasta to the boiling water. Once the water starts to boil again, turn the heat down and simmer for the time stated on the box. Most pastas cook in 8 to 12 minutes. Stir the pasta often while it is cooking so the noodles do not stick together. To test if the pasta is finished cooking, use a fork to take a piece of the pasta out of the pot and taste it. If the pasta is not done, let the pasta cook for one more minute, then test again. Once the pasta is finished cooking, turn off the stove and remove the pot. Place a colander into the sink. Pour the contents of the pot into a strainer and throw away the water. The pasta is now ready to eat. You can eat the pasta alone or add your favorite sauce. Pasta generally doubles in size when cooked, so one cup uncooked will make two cups cooked. Rice Brown and white rice require different cooking times. White rice will cook in 15 to 20 minutes. Brown rice needs up to 40 minutes cooking time. To cook white rice, measure one cup into a cooking pot. Add one and a half cups of water. Bring to a boil, then turn the heat down to low and simmer for 15 minutes. 